crochet project you're going to need your four millimeter crochet hook you're also going to need a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors you're also going to need some craft eyes you can see where I used a 12 millimeter for my black Siberian Husky Puppy and these are just gorgeous, a gorgeous design and I'm going to show you who I bought these from. So this one is a 12 millimeter size and I got it from Fab Lab Craft. Got two eyes, the 12 millimeter, and again this is the design and what it looks like on my black Siberian Husky Puppy. Now for my gray Siberian Husky that I'm going to make on video tutorial, I'm using these beautiful eyes with the blue. They are by Suncatcher Craft Eyes, and they're a little bit larger, the 15 millimeter, so you can decide if you like the larger eyes or if you like the 12 millimeter. You'll see the difference between the two. This is what the safety latch looks like for the Suncatcher Craft Eyes. For the nose, I just used a Suncatcher Craft Eye nose. This is what the nose looks like. It's really cute. And again, I ordered it from Suncatcher Craft Eyes. And the size for this nose is a 15 millimeter. And it also comes with a safety latch for the back of the nose. The main color gray that I used for my puppy on video tutorial is by Big Twist Yarns Rainbow Classic. 100% acrylic. Here's some more information about this yarn. And the color I chose is gray. For my puppy, I just used the leftover Big Twist black yarn that I used for my larger Siberian Husky puppy dogs. And the white yarn that I used is also by Big Twist. And again, I used some of the leftover yarn. I use these for my larger Siberian Huskies as well. And the color is white. So on video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I made using just the regular white yarn for the designs on the Siberian Husky. But I'm also going to show the design using my Bernat Pipsqueak yarn. You can see that it's much softer and looks like real fur. The only problem with the Pipsqueak yarn is that it's sometimes difficult to work with, so that's why some people don't like to use it, but I love it. I just don't use a lot of it on video tutorial because people have some trouble with it, but I always like to show both options. That way for those that are more adventurous and like the feel of the Bernat Pipsqueak yarn like me can use that if they choose to do so. If you are going to be using your Bernat Pipsqueak yarn, then I like to use my larger crochet hook along with this style of yarn. It just makes it easier to work with. And again, I'm using my 9mm crochet hook and I just have a pencil grip on the end because mine doesn't have the nice built-in cushion that I have for my regular crochet hook. So again, this is just a pencil grip that comes off easily. You're also going to need a black yarn and I'm just using some of my leftover Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. Here's some information about, I just used a regular black. Ah, here we go. Here's some more information about this yarn and the amount included. So we're going to start with a head and I'm starting with my gray yarn or whatever color that you want for your puppy, your Siberian Husky dog. Go ahead and drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then you're going to take your four millimeter crochet hook just go under those two loops around the middle fingers. You're going to bring up a loop and then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for your slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So if you need help with the magic circle, I have a separate video tutorial that just shows 
the magic circle so you can practice. So you want six single crochet into the magic circle. So, so far I have three. Four. Five. And six. So now you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb. You're going to hold the base of the six single crochet. You're going to have these two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one. And then just gently close it. Don't worry if you don't get it completely closed. And then take and pull on that loose yarn end. Then you're going to turn your work so that you work into that first stitch in the round. Make sure you get under both loops. And then you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. So there's one. Two. And you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of four, I mean total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12, 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now I have 12 stitches in the round. You can see how I have a large opening in the center of my magic circle so I'm going to just turn it over and then just gently pull on that loose yarn end on the back and then that closes up the circle nicely. Then just grab your yarn marker. I'm just using one of my scraps of yarn. To me it's just easier. Just place it right where you left off and we're going to start making some increased rounds which means we're going to be increasing, continuing to increase the number of stitches in the round. So for the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So again you make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. So we're going to continue to increase consecutively until we have one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch. So we just finished that first increase round of one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. Then go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. So we're going to be working consecutively or in order. So the next round will be one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 24 stitches in the round and then for the next increase round will be one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So then you should have finished with 30 stitches in the round and then the next increase round will be one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around. So now you should have 36 stitches in the round and then we're going to make our last increase round of one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around. Now we're finished increasing the size of the head. So you should have finished with the 42 stitch count in the round and we're going to maintain that stitch count now for the head. The body is going to be made the same way that we made the head 
except we're going to make it a little bit larger, just one increase round larger, but for the head we're going to keep it this size. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around. And then you're going to keep making one single crochet in every stitch around for 16 rounds. So when you get to the yarn marker you're just going to leave it in place and just keep going. That way you can keep track of how many rounds you've completed. So you need 16 rounds. And each time you pass the yarn marker, your stitch count should stay the same. So it should still be 42 stitches in the round every time you pass. So go ahead, finish 16 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, and then come back. So after you finish your 16 rounds, of one single crochet in every stitch. Go ahead and leave just a large loop. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then just set the head aside for now. We have to make all the pieces that go on the face of your little dog. We're going to start with the snout. So just grab your big twist white yarn and we're going to start with the magic circle again. So just like we did for the head. We're going to make your slip knot. And then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. That's four, five, and six. And then you're going to hold the base of the six single crochet and then close up the center of the magic circle the same way you did before. And again, you're going to place two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. And then come back. Now for the snout, we're going to be working it a little bit differently than we did for the head. So for the first round, it's going to be an increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch, and then repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, and then come back. So now you should have 18 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up, and for this next round, you're going, to, you're going to make only one single crochet in every stitch around. So you should still have 18 stitches after you finish this one round. So when you get to the yarn marker, come back. And then I'll show you what to do for the next round. So now for the next round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up. We're going to make one more increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 24 stitches in the round and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now for the last round, you can see how I finished the four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch and this is how my work looks so far for the snout. Then go ahead and take and move the yarn marker up for our last round. The last round is going to be an increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then make two single crochet into the fourth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I finished with 30 stitches on that last round. Go ahead and remove your yarn marker. 
We're going to make a slip stitch, so go ahead and take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then just bring the yarn through both loops on the hook to complete a slip stitch. Then we're going to, we're going to finish off, so just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the snout onto the head. So now we're going to place the nose, and here is my snout, and I use my magic circle as a go-by. I have my loose yarn end at the bottom, and I'm going to place my nose so that it's right above the magic circle, so right here. And then here is the magic circle. So I'm just going to take, make sure that the nose is facing the right direction. And then you can take and turn the work inside out so you can place the safety latch onto the back of the post. Now for one of my puppies I made the nose in a brown color because if you use a orange color or a um, carrot color for your Siberian Husky, then they have brown noses. So this color is from Vanna's Choice and it's um, toffee colored. So I'm going to show you how I made my nose using this yarn. So you're going to start with a chain. Just take your yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop, and I'm using my 4 millimeter. actually I'm going to use my 3.75 millimeter. So when I'm making my nose, I'm using my smaller crochet hook, a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb, and then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to make a chain of three. One, two, three. And then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook, so bring up a loop, make your single crochet, and then you're going to place three single crochet into the last stitch. And then I'm turning my work so that I'm going to be working on the opposite side, so we can work in rounds. So I just finished three single crochet into that last stitch on the end and then I turned my work over because I'm going to go into the next stitch over on the opposite side go behind your loose yarn end bring up a loop and make a single crochet and then you're going to go into that next stitch on the opposite end and make three single crochet on that opposite end And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my loose yarn end. And then you're going to work in rounds. So you can use a yarn marker if you want to keep track of your rounds. And then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. So one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then you can go ahead and remove the yarn marker, make a slip stitch into the next stitch over, and then go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the nose onto your snout. 
and you see how you have a cute little nose that you can sew on. So whoop, you would sew it on the same place that you sewed, I mean you placed your black nose. So if you wanted to make your nose you could do the same thing with black yarn but I'm going to be using this one on my carrot colored Siberian Husky Puppy and that's how you make your brown nose. Now I'm going to show you how to make the mouth for your puppy and I'm using my tapestry needle with some black yarn. And you're just going to take your tapestry needle and come up. You're going to have to come up at an angle because you have the clasp on the other side. So I'm coming up underneath the clasp for the nose. And I'm going to come right in the center of the nose. And then leave enough yarn on the other side to tie a knot when you're finished. Then you're going to go straight down So you can see how far I went down, about one row. Then you're going to take and come about at an angle, stitch over and two rows down, and then come up. Make sure you don't tangle your yarn on the inside. Then you're going to go right back down the center at the top. And then you're just going to make the exact same thing on the opposite side. and then go right back down the center. And then you have your mouth in place. Go ahead and tie a knot on the inside. Go ahead and set your snout aside for now. So now you're going to go ahead and get your white yarn. We're going to make the two triangles that go over the cheeks. So go ahead and take the yarn, fold it over on itself, and we're using our four millimeter crochet hook. Put it right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to go ahead and chain six. I'm going to, I'm going to show four of them. There's one chain, two, three, four. So go ahead, finish a chain of six. After you finish your chain of six, you're going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you go into the second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, make a single crochet, and then you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, and make a single crochet. And you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across and that will give you a stitch count of five. So we started with six but because we made the single crochet in the second chain from the hook we're going to end up with five stitches when you're finished with this row. Then you're just going to take and turn your work so no chain one, just turn your work and then you're going to work into the next stitch and bring up a loop. So you're going to make one single crochet, one single crochet into the next stitch, and that's two, one single crochet in the next stitch, which, which will give you a stitch count of three. And then one single crochet in the last stitch, which will give you a stitch count of four. 
Then you're going to turn your work, work into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, make a single crochet for one, next stitch, single crochet for two, and last stitch, single crochet for three. Then you're going to turn your work. Make a single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet into that last stitch for a stitch count of two. Then you're going to turn your work and then just make a slip stitch into the next stitch. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook to complete a slip stitch and then you're going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew this onto the cheek of your dog. You're going to need two of these so go ahead and make your second one. Now you're going to set these aside for now. I'm going to show you how to make the triangles that go behind the eyes. So you're going to start the same way. You're going to form a loop Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for your slip knot. Then we're going to make our chain. I'm going to make a chain of six. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then make a single crochet in every stitch back across just like we did for the previous triangle. So that will give you a stitch count of five. Now just like we did before you're going to turn your work, go into the next stitch over for your single crochet. So that's one next stitch, single crochet for two stitches, next stitch, single crochet for three. So now you should have finished one single crochet into each stitch which would give you a stitch count of four. But this time what we're going to do is you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then go into the next stitch for a single crochet and then that will give you a stitch count of two. So now you have two. Next stitch, single crochet for three. Next stitch, single crochet for four. So you have two rows of stitch count of four. Then you're going to turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the third stitch and then go ahead and finish off. So a little bit different than the cheek one and you're also going to make two of these so go ahead and make another one of these. After you finish the two white portion that goes behind the eyes. Go ahead and set these aside. I'm going to show you how to make the black portion now. Now with your black yarn, you're going to make the magic circle. So you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your middle finger and your thumb. And I'm still using my four millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to go under, bring up a loop, and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make one single crochet. So you go under those two loops, bring up a loop, make your single crochet. Then you're going to make two half double crochets. So go ahead and yarn over. You're going to go under the loop around the middle fingers, you're going to bring up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, 
turn the hook upside down and go through all three loops to complete a half double crochet. You're going to make one more half double crochet, so yarn over, go under those two loops, bring up a loop, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to make a single crochet, Then you're going to make two more half double crochet. And then you're going to make a single crochet. Then you're going to close it just like you did for the regular six single crochet magic circle. You're going to take and pull on the opposite loop. If it doesn't close, you let go and pull on the other one. Now don't close it completely. Make sure you leave a little bit of an opening because that's where you're going to put your eye through. Safety eye. Then take that loose yarn in and pull on that. Then you're going to turn your work and you're going to go into that first stitch and make a slip stitch. So just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. Then you're going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew this onto your dog. And you're going to need two of these. So now, after you finish both of the black portions of the eye, the chain two portion will go towards the outer part of the eye on both sides. You can go ahead and get whatever size eye that you're using and place it right through the hole in the center. And then go ahead and place the safety latch on the back. Now the first thing you're going to do is take the white portion that goes behind the eyes and sew them onto the head. So I used my magic circle at the top and counted down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then right below the seventh row is where I placed my white portion. Now on my black Siberian Husky puppy, I went down six rows. So you'll have to kind of look at your puppy head and decide where the eyes would look best. So for this gray one, I went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the top underneath the seventh round is where I put the tops of the white portion. And I only put two stitches between the white portion and then you just take the long end that you left for sewing and then sew all around the edge. Make sure you don't tangle up the back. And then you just go in and out with your tapestry needle and just sew it in place. Then you're going to take the black portion of the eye and place it where you want it on top of the white portion and then face the chain two how you want it to be on the dog whether you want it facing up or what direction that you want it facing and then the shorter loose yarn end I'm going to take and put that through first Then I'm going to position the eye the way I want it on the dog. And then once I'm happy with how it's positioned, I'm going to go ahead and sew it in place. 
with my black yarn. And then just double check the eyes, make sure that you have them positioned the way that you want them on the dog. And I have about three to four stitches between the eyes. Then you just take and bring the black yarn through and then just sew all around the edge of the black portion with your black yarn and then just sew it in place. So this is what it looks like after I sewed on all around the black portion of the eyes. So you can see how the white portion goes about halfway and then make sure that the bottom portions line up. Now you can go ahead and take a little craft stuffing and put it into the back of the snout and take your tapestry needle. We're going to sew on the snout. So you just take and line up, make sure that the nose is straight and then you're going to sew the bottom portion first, one row up from the bottom of the snout and, or the bottom of the head. After you sew along the bottom, making sure that your nose stays straight, I just took and left the yarn and then I got some more yarn of the same color and I'm going to sew the top portion. So you're just going to line up the top portion and you're making sure that your nose is staying straight and then just come up through the top portion of the snout and then sew along the top. For the top part I make a slight U as I'm sewing it in place for the top portion. Then you can take and sew both sides in place. Then you can see how your nose comes out nice and straight and this is how the dog's looking so far. It's looking adorable. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two eyes, the size difference. So now we're going to go ahead and go to where we left off after sewing on the snout and we're going to close the head. We're not going to close it completely. Go ahead and take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and for the first decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches. And then go ahead and make your decrease stitch. So we're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. So you take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Go ahead and go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over. Turn the hook upside down and go through all three loops for your decrease stitch. Then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into five stitches and then your decrease stitch or also called single crochet two stitches together. So you should have finished with 36 stitches on that last decrease round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to make our next decrease round. We're going to stop after we get to one single crochet in three. So only two more decrease rounds. For this next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then make your decrease stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So you should have finished with 30 stitches for that last round and this is going to be our last decrease round. You're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then make your decrease stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So I just finished my last decrease round and I have a total of 24 stitches in the round. So now you can go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then you're going to make a slip stitch 
into the next stitch over. So you just go into the next stitch over, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for your slip stitch. Then you're going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and go ahead and pull enough yarn through to help sew the head onto the body. It just helps to make it more secure. Now we're going to make the decorative designs that go on the face. For now, I'm going to show you how to make the portion that goes under the chin. So you're still going to need your white yarn, and you're going to take the white yarn and fold it over on itself again to form a loop. We're going to make our slip knot, and then this time you're going to make a chain of eight. So I have a chain of eight. Then again, you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across. And that should give you a stitch count of seven for this row. So go ahead, finish making one single crochet in every stitch back across, and then come back. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and that first chain one counts as your first stitch. And then you're going to go into your next stitch for your second single crochet. So that first chain one counts as your first stitch or first single crochet and then you made a single crochet into this next stitch for your second single crochet and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across and because you made that chain one you're going to have seven stitches again for this row okay so I'm going to count that as the first one that one that we just finished and we're going to have a total of 24 rows, including that one that we just finished. So go ahead and chain one again. And this is going to count as row number two. Make a single crochet into the next stitch. And again, you're going to have seven stitches for this row. And you're going to keep repeating this. Chain one, single crochet in every stitch. And each row should have a stitch count of seven. And you're going to stop after you reach a total of 24. So this is, counts as your second row. So keep going until you finish a total of 24. So this is what my chin strap looks like after I'm finished. Then I'm going to go ahead and make a slip stitch in my last stitch on the last row. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make a single crochet. So single crochet in that last stitch. Then I'm just going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew it onto your dog. So the first thing you're going to do is grab one of your triangles and on my triangle I have the long end that I left for sewing and then the short end where I first started with my slip knot. So I'm going to take the short end first. The tip of the triangle is where I finished off. And then you're just going to place it right along the bottom of the eye and along the snout. So you're going to go ahead and take that first short end and bring that short loose yarn end into towards the inside of the head and then I'm just going to leave that on the inside for tying a knot then I'm going to go ahead and get the long end that I left for sewing and then I'm going to line up the triangle along the snout and then I'm just going to take and sew 
the piece in place. Now I wanted to show you the piece along the snout. So this edge along the snout, you want to use that last row of the snout and just take and bring your tapestry needle through the edge of the stitch of the triangular piece and just bring those two together so you don't see the gray underneath. And that's just how I sewed those two pieces together because I don't want the gray to show through. And then when you're finished sewing the piece in place, then you can tie a knot on the inside. So I'm just going to end here and just go right in and then tie a knot on the inside and then you're going to repeat the same thing with the other triangle on the other side and then come back. So now you can set the chin strap aside for now. We're going to make the ears and then we're also going to make the body so for the ears, you're going to be making four of them. Two of the triangles will be the white colored yarn, and then two will be the main color of your dog. In this case, I'm using the gray. So you're going to have two of each for a total of four. We're going to start with the white colored yarn. Just take the yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. And then you're going to make a chain, I mean a slip knot first. So yarn over, go through the hook, I mean the loop, for your slip knot. And then go ahead and cinch down that knot. And then you're going to make a chain. So I'm just going to show you four of them. Just yarn over, go through the loop for one. two, three, and four. So go ahead, finish a chain of ten, and then come back. After you finish your chain of ten, you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. And then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across and that will give you a stitch count of nine. So one single crochet in every stitch back across for a stitch count of nine. Then you're going to make a chain of one. Turn your work. That chain one will count as your first stitch for this next row. You're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch over. And you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across. And you're still going to have a stitch count of nine when you finish this row. Then you're going to chain one again. Then turn your work, and again that first chain one counts as your first stitch for this next row. Go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, and then make a single crochet in every stitch back across. This will be our last row with a stitch count of nine. Then after you finish that row, you're just going to turn your work. So no chain one, you're going to go into the next stitch over, make a single crochet, and then one single crochet in every stitch across, and when you finish this row, you're going to have a stitch count of eight. Then we're going to make one more row of a stitch count of eight, so you're going to chain one, Turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch over, 
and then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across and again you're going to have a stitch count of eight when you finish this row. Then you're going to turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch over, and then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch across, and for this row you're going to have a stitch count of seven. So now you're going to make a chain of one, turn your work, you're going to go into the next stitch over, make a single crochet, and when you finish this row of one single crochet in every stitch back across, you're going to have a stitch count of seven again. So now we're just going to start turning. So we're not going to make any more chain ones. You're going to turn your work and you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch over and one single crochet in every stitch across which will give you a stitch count of six. Then you're going to turn your work, next stitch over, make a single crochet, and after this round row you're going to have a stitch count of five. Turn your work, single crochet into the next stitch over, and after this row stitch count of four, and you can see how you're starting to form the tip of the triangle. Turn your work, next stitch over, one, two single crochet, three. Turn your work, next stitch over, one single crochet, two single crochet. Turn your work, slip stitch into the next stitch, and then you're going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through just to bury your loose yarn end. So again, you're going to need two of these in the white color and then two of these in the gray color and then come back.